Cheers. Today, I want to show you my favorite modern Amiga software, Imp3. It is a huge software package. In a way, we can call it our media player, our source for demos, mods, and it's even a sync client between Amigas. And it does even offer a chat. So it's the complete package in a way. Let's have a look at it. Let's first get the software and we'll start eyebrows and visit Aminat. And here we will search for imp3. This one. Nice description. Do stuff on Amiga. That's a good description for this software. And we'll save this to the software directory. That's my download directory. Like this. And then we can unpack it and install it. To install it, it's uh, quite simple. You just uh, make a directory for it like this. And then you find the LHJ and simply unpack it. And that's it. And the first time you run it, it downloads an update. And now it's updated and we're good to go. Now that it's installed and set up, let's start it. And we installed it in network, imp3. And there we are online. And uh, here we can see we connected and it sees my 68020, which is in this uh, Amiga. I earlier uploaded something from my other Amiga. And we can find that here. So if we enter stash and jump to your stash and private, here is the classic Boeing Ball IFF, which I uploaded on my other Amiga. So I can download it and use it on this Amiga, or we can just watch it if I press multi view. And now you can see it's downloading. It's not the fast connection on this Amiga, it's, uh, it's serial. It's a PPP connection on the Mister. And now it's downloaded. And I did ask to see it. Maybe it didn't work. Okay, let's download it then. Just put it in RAM for the demo. Like this. We need to re-download. And now it should be downloaded. So if we enter Workbench, And looks in RAM, show all files. We now have the classic, classic Boeing Bell, and we can see it. It's just a simple picture. So this is kind of like having Dropbox on your own Amiga. Another cool thing is that you can make your own favorite from from modules. So I have added some favorites here, but I have not downloaded this prior to opening IMP, but now I can play any of them from the internet directly. So if uh, we take Yester Elysium, it is now downloading 
that song, the module. And now we have some music going. If I'm not sure what I want to hear, I can enter the disk, the storage browser. And we can enter browse songs, mods. And then we can choose between a lot of modules. And if we like one, let's just pick one at random, this one. So it's downloading. And if I like it, I can put it to my favorite list. Like this. And now it's added to my fab list. Or, I'm, or I can remove it. Like this. So that's how the music player works. And at the same time, we have the chat going here. At the moment, it's quite silent. Maybe someone is online. And I can have uh, private chats going, like this one I have going with my friend Amix. Another cool thing in IMP is the direct download and running of software. So just wait for it to load. And if we go to root, we have a one-click Amiga from IMP. So if we enter that, we have WHD load stuff. We have games, mags, demos, and software. And here we can install software, like Amos Pro. Or we can run demos directly. And there is a lot to choose from. A lot. So if we find something that works on the O20, the Nexus 7 AGA, it will now download that directly. Someone gave us a thumbs up. The modern internet days have entered the Amiga as well. And it's done. And now we can choose if we want to keep it or if we just want to run it directly from RAM. And when it's done, it's deleted. This is cloud computing. Let's just run it from RAM. And now Nexus 7 is running. Launched directly from inside IMP3. I guess you understand why I like this software so much. It kind of makes easy access to everything I want to have on my Amigas.
Yes, but even though this demo is super, we don't need to see the whole thing, I think. So if I press the mouse button, we jump back into Imp. And in the chat, we can now see how many people are available, and it's quite a lot of people. I think... I think those that are white, perhaps it's those that are online. As you can see, it runs very good on the A1200, of course, and on any AGI Omega, but it even works on the A500, this. You do need a Kickstart 2.0 or better, which I don't have in my Amigas, only in the PyStorm version, and that wouldn't be a fair demo, I think. But to be able to use it on the A500 and other low-end Amigas, you can download an ADF, which you will find in root. And here you find imp3 ADF. So if you download that and write it to a floppy and buy one of these, this is the imp box. It's a Wi-Fi system for your Omega 500 that works with IMP3. And with those, you can experience this on your Omega 500. If you add a Kickstart 2.0 and probably some RAM. I hope you understand why I like this software so much. Quite stunning, right? Cheers. I hope you have a wonderful evening.